What's up everyone? It's Thursday, April 22nd, 2021. 2.30 p.m. It's 46 Fahrenheit. That's about 8 degrees Celsius. And I'm in front of the first ever Lidl supermarket in Queens. Lidl is a German based grocery chain and they bought a lot of the supermarkets here. Before this uh, supermarket was here, it was called Best Market, but now all the best markets are being converted into a Lidl supermarket. So I was curious and decided to take a walk down here to see how the supermarket is. And it's pretty nice. I actually recorded a video from the subway station to get over here. And I even did a little bit of grocery shopping. I have a grocery bag uh, filled with only three items, a bunch of bananas and two uh, ribeye steaks. But that's enough for me to carry back because I don't need to get a lot of food. But let's get this walk started. I'm going to be walking in my own neighborhood of Astoria, Queens. Maybe eventually head down to Long Island City. Lena said I made the chat only for members today. I did. Maybe I hit a button that I wasn't supposed to. Oh, okay. There we go. I changed it back. Barnabas Bullpet saying your hood has a little too. The bakery is not bad. Yeah, the bakery section was pretty good here. The prices were a little bit less than average, but not anything I'd go out of my way for to go shopping here. Also, what I noticed in the Lidl is that many of the products on the shelves, they were still in the original like shipping cartons and boxes. That's how they save on costs. They don't need to unpack everything and they just throw up the box there unpacked in order for the consumers to just pick them out themselves. Flexstream saying Aldi and Lidl were your favorite stores when you lived in Germany. Well, I have to say after going into this Lidl for the first time, it's a pretty nice store, but um, I can find good deals elsewhere that I don't need to go out of my way for to get here. And I have been to Aldi before. Aldi is pretty nice too. It's kind of like the same concepts as Lidl. And um, also throughout my recorded video, which I made from the subway station here, I didn't know the correct pronunciation of Lidl and I kept pronouncing it Lidl the whole time. So I was like, let's go to Lidl. Let's see how Lidl is. And that whole video is going to be full of Lidl, Lidl, Lidl. And I'm sure I'm going to get a lot of comments about it in the comment section. I only realized it was Lidl after I heard the PA system inside the store say, Oh, you can get some great savings at Lidl. And then I realized, uh-oh, I just said the supermarket's name wrong the whole time. That's why English is such a tough language because we have multiple pronunciations for everything. Ali BHG, you didn't realize you meant Lidl? You never heard of that anyway? Yeah, I thought it was Lidl until the uh, public address system said Lidl, not Lidl. Anyway, let's go down 20th Avenue towards Astoria Park. Chris Hill is saying it's said differently in the United Kingdom. There's a lot of things that are said differently in different places. Liz saying, can I edit it later with a voiceover recording? I'm sure I can. I think I'm just going to leave it as is though. 
Lidl, Lidl, tomato, tomato. It's all good. Yo, Dream Trip asking if I like Whole Foods. I like Whole Foods, but I don't really like the pricing at Whole Foods too much. Whole Foods, they uh, overcharge for a lot of things, but it is convenient. Meet Neil saying the stereotype of Whole Foods, Whole Foods equals whole paycheck. Yvette Vlogs likes Trader Joe's more than Whole Foods. I like Trader Joe's more too, but the thing, the thing with Trader Joe's is they don't really have a hot food section. So if you want to get lunch at Trader Joe's, then that's not possible. And I have found that Trader Joe's has been increasing their prices a bit and the crowds have remained the same inside the store. So I don't really prefer shopping at Trader Joe's anymore. But Lidl did have a nice selection of stuff inside. Actually, you can see what I got now that I'm here. These are the groceries I got at Lidl. I got a bunch of bananas. These bananas were 44 cents a pound and it came out to like $2 and something for this bunch of bananas. And then I also got uh, two packages of ribeye steak. I only need to take out one of them. Steakhouse Organics, 100% organic beef ribeye steak. This was actually on sale. It was uh, $4.99 for this package of steak. And uh, it comes out to $7.99 a pound because it's 10 ounces. But we'll see how it is. I came out all this way. I decided, hey, let me just get something small, try it out. seem like a good price to me. Liz asking if I'll do a video how I cook the steak. No, I don't think I will. Shantanu Zubair saying Chinatown probably has the best grocery price compared to most of Manhattan. I uh, partially agree with you on that. I think the uh, vegetables and fruits in Chinatown are actually very competitive. And I read a news article before saying that a lot of those vendors you see on the streets and inside the Chinese supermarkets, their um, their products are purchased directly by the vendors themselves from the farms and there's no middleman. So in that sense, they pass the savings directly onto the consumers. Sometimes it's not the greatest thing because you get inferior products. The vegetables are mostly okay, but certain meats, certain seafoods, you gotta be careful because there were other times where like there was these illegal crab vendors on the sidewalks. They were selling them to people and they were like directly fish from the river where it was polluted. So though, there you have to be careful too. 
And um, I've also noticed many of the groceries in Brighton Beach are very affordable too. In the uh, ethnic Russian enclave. Shinatu asking where in the city do you you find comparable prices. I'm a Queens guy like you, but does it even comparable to our Queens locations like Astoria, Jackson Heights, etc.? Um, some places you have to look. For the most part, our neighborhood grocery stores are very competitive with each other. But for those vendors that do business directly with the farms and get them push the consumers, that's where you'll see the most savings. Also, if you're buying organic produce, that seems to be more expensive as well. VC mentioning about the food bazaar. Yeah, it's good price. Is it food bazaar or food bazaar? That's what I'm wondering. But food, that place, I like that place too. It's on Northern Boulevard, the closest one, and it has a huge selection of foods. All of these saying is bizarre. Oh, DC, I'm on 20th Avenue in Astoria, Queens, next to the Con Edison plants. I'm not intending to make this live stream very long since I'm carrying groceries and I still have some things to do, but it'll be a nice little walk. I still need to do a walk, so as my, I might as well uh, do a live stream around here, show you around the neighborhood. Adam saying it's pretty quiet here. Yeah, this is the residential area of Astoria. Valentine said that lady dropped something. She did. I don't really see anything uh, that she dropped. Unless it was very small then. Randall Langworthy, thank you so much for the 99 cents. Appreciate it. Oh, Valentine's saying it's some cloth. I'll try to keep an eye out for it if I find it, but I don't see anything right now. Julia saying it looks a bit chilly today. It is. The temperature just dropped yesterday afternoon and it stayed like that it's still windy today liz thanks for asking Devotee saying it looked like her wallet. I hope it wasn't her wallet. And I did go back and took a look at the ground. I didn't really see anything unusual.
I've returned many lost wallets before. It's a large cardboard container. Randall with another 99 cents. Thank you, Randall. Appreciate it very much. Nick asking what's the strangest thing I found. Uh, hmm. Probably the random mask in Riverdale was a start. <laughs> That was a little bit creepy and totally random. And uh, somewhat enchanting at the same time. I thought that was out of place. Maya with a 499 super chat asking if I think New York City is more dangerous than before. And Randall with another 99 cents. Um, I think a little bit more dangerous than before, but not really so much so. Um, Compared to like the 70s and the 80s, New York is nowhere near that kind of crime. But I do notice that there is some like heightened sense of danger now in New York. Tone saying it's windy today, yeah. You can see it. Devotee saying look, uh, something she ran over, not something she dropped, all right. Woo! It is windy today. So, um, RK516 asking if my scooter's charged. I just made it back last night. Yes, I plugged it in the charger. There's only 2% battery left. But it's charged now. It's charged now. feels 99 you think the pandemic has rendered some people more radical and desperate plus the previous situation hasn't helped i agree with you totally there i've noticed more people a lot more tense than before a lot more worried especially if their finances have been hit due to lockdowns and people being forced out of work it's sad Bobby Steph saying, good to see me in the Ditmars area. Nice to see you, Bobby. It's supposed to warm up a little bit later. Dutch, uh, thank you for that. Hopefully it wasn't too, anything too important. Toronto guys saying my scooter videos make you nervous. It can feel like that, especially when you're not used to the traffic of the city. Ethan saying the weather will be nice, you think, tomorrow? I think so too. At least that's what the forecast is saying. It's so difficult for me to juggle this grocery bag on my shoulder while doing the live stream.
I actually haven't used this bike lane in a while, but it's a pretty nice one, especially when there isn't that much construction over here. They were doing a lot of construction on this street before, but it's all finished. Ludo Yu saying, we are the creators, no, it's real work, not so easy, congrats on what you do. Thank you, Ludo, appreciate it very much. There's a lot that goes on behind the scenes that people don't see as video creators. It's not so easy just to record a video and upload it online because you also got to deal with internet issues, you got to deal with the public, you got to deal with financial issues, you got to deal with editing time, you got to deal with marketing. There's a whole business model that goes into it. And even though YouTube is a uh, open platform where people are able to create videos on any topic they want, in reality it's not like that because there's other content that's shunned upon and YouTube won't find that good at all. They'll just take it off. Ludo Liu say maybe you belong to the guys that inspired me to start the second channel. You follow since several years and from the drone channel looking you and guys like Jay Utah, you create that second one. Awesome. Take a look at this. There's some flowers blooming past the fence here. It's really night, nice. Miami walking and driving tours, difficult. You have Camtasia for editing, you try 4K. Turns out you can't edit 4K in Camtasia and found another software, but it takes two days to render. Now you need a new computer. Yeah, making videos is a big investment, especially if you want to make 4K content and you need a good computer to process it, you need good internet. I need good internet more than anybody, especially since I live stream everywhere. I have all three major cell phone providers, T-Mobile, Verizon, and AT&T. Ludo Liu 2 saying rendering those 4K videos of an hour and something. The uh, software I use, Cyberlink Power Director, they have a setting there where if you just proce process the raw footage, most of the time it will just output it in the same format it was put in and you won't have that much rendering time. So that helps out a lot. For some reason on the GoPro, it doesn't really render with those settings though. I have to wait 
for it to render. But for other videos, it usually takes maybe like two, three minutes tops to render those videos. Wow, it's cold. Ethan asking, what's that sound? It's the sound coming from this uh, processing plant here, Con Edison. Must be a gate or something. So I just reached the water's edge. Maybe we'll see some boats coming by, but this right here is the Hellgate. Very treacherous waterway. There's been a lot of shipwrecks over here throughout the years. The most uh, famous one being the General Slocum. It was a disaster for the German immigrant community at the time. It's probably going to get really cold right here by the water. I'm not exactly dressed up for this as warm as I'd like. Nick asking if it's better to buy tech in New Jersey rather than Manhattan. It's better to buy tech wherever it's more convenient for you. For many people that will be online, sometimes it's the local electronics store, sometimes it's B&H photo and video in Manhattan. Most of my camera stuff I get from B&H photo and video in Manhattan. Look at this. This tree trunk didn't get removed yet. Lee T with a five pound super chat. High action care from the United Kingdom. Love the early stream perspectives from Euro time. In terms of the last 12 months, what most affected you regarding lockdown? I think what affected me the most was just people's moods really and attitudes towards life because I just found people got a little bit more fearful of the world and they didn't really be open to others anymore and that's what I didn't really like about the last 12 months. wasn't really so much the crowds of people not being able to gather anymore or people uh, not going out, but it was just people's attitudes. And that's what I really didn't like. And uh, certainly governments and mainstream media and peer pressure has put a lot of those uh, influences in the people where they're so afraid now to even do basic things. And to me, that's just, really sad and I'm glad that I have a platform here where I'm showing people that there's more to life than just being scared and you can go out and enjoy natural walks like this by Astoria Park felt it in New York where for some reason up here in New York people are really restrictive and even if you like pass by someone they give you weird looks now it wasn't really so much like that before it 
Here we got the tree here, which has tons of shoes in it. It was here the last time I walked by too. Daryl Janik saying I'm the most positive person on YouTube. Thank you, Daryl. Appreciate it very much. John asking where I am, am to, uh, right now. Shore Boulevard, 21st Avenue. Ralph DeMarco Park. Also look at this. New York City Ferry making its way through the Hellgate. John Flores, yes. Lidl in Queens, the first one of its kind in Astoria. Also, if anyone wants rolls, Italian bread, and uh, more bread over there, it's all on the ground for you to take, or maybe the birds. Linda Hunter with Five Australian, appreciate it. Hope doing the streams has helped you as much as you have helped the people who watch. Thank you, Linda. Appreciate it. John PS30 saying my views of New York City and Florida were good for people only getting info from the news. He showed real life and joy. Yes, I agree with you there. There's a lot more to life than just the television. What I do and experience every day going out is what's going on in the world. Seems like the winds didn't die down from last night at all. screen or a phone screen to be out here right now you can get cold from this uh Cara max is your eight asking what is this bridge this is the hellgate bridge It's named after the Hellgate, which is a body of water right under it, which is very treacherous. There were a lot of shipwrecks here. And this bridge here was actually the influence for the Sydney Harbor Bridge. But there's a railroad bridge that carries the Amtrak up through to Boston and down towards Penn Station. 
I actually uh, rode across this bridge going to and from Boston. So I was saying the water looks like it's moving fast. It is. Yes, Ethan, this next bridge is the Triborough Bridge. Uh, ZZ asking when these were built. I'm not sure about the Hellgate Bridge, but the Triborough Bridge was built during the Great Depression as part of the Public Works Administration. I think it was during the uh, 1930s that they started construction on the Triborough Bridge. Oh, Dean, Metro North will use this bridge once the east side access is complete. Wow. That'll be something, right? For Metro North to use this. They got a story of park next to me here. There's not too many flowers in Astoria Park though. That's my main complaint about Astoria Park. There's a lot of trees, but not too many flowers. Death Sea saying the Hellgate Bridge was built in 1916. Wow, it's really windy, especially over here. Gosh, my grocery bag just keeps falling down. Maybe I just put it over my neck. Might be easier, I guess. It's not that heavy anyway. Let's see, how am I gonna do this? Woo! No, a bad idea. It's not wide enough. I'll just hold it on this hand rather than wrapping around my shoulder. Just enough fuel massing. I forgot I'm carrying bananas and the meat. Yeah. Hard enough to live stream and then I gotta carry this too. It doesn't fit in my backpack, unfortunately. The bananas are an awkward shape. Would have been easy if I carried a bigger backpack. I actually wasn't planning on doing any shopping, but I was like, you know what, let me go there, get some groceries because it looks good and try it out.
Robert saying I need an assistant to carry my stuff. A lot of camera people do. They have an assistant just to carry all those lenses and everything. But for groceries, I don't think it's necessary. Yeah, Condi, the park's under construction. I know the city's investing uh, millions of dollars to renovate this park. They're already done with the track and field section. But they're gonna put a, uh, I think a hiking section in here as well, as well as a few more amenities. So it's gonna be pretty nice when it's finished. Here, this is the uh, Astoria Park Charybdis Playground Reconstruction. There's gonna be a water playing area, swings, a shade structure, and two more playing areas. Gonna be greatly expanded. Chicago's keep saying happy Earth Day. Oh, it's Earth Day today? Well, happy Earth Day to everybody watching. That's pretty cool. I think tonight uh, they're even going to do that one hour uh, shut off your lights in observance of Earth Day. Wow, this water is moving so fast. It is crazy. And look at this whirlpool of water over here. You can see why there were a lot of shipwrecks here and why they call this the Hellgate. You know what I'm actually going to do? I'm going to go into the park because... And there's Amtrak. I'm going to go into the park because right by the water here is very cold. Oh, so Cody saying Hellgate's a mispronunciation of Norwegian world. Hellgat, that means the mouth of. Interesting. Hi Robin, did you find any worms? And what are these pigeons eating? The mystery is solved folks, pigeons don't eat only pizza, bagels, and bread. They're out on the lawn here in Astoria Park, feasting on grass seeds, probably. That's what they should be eating, not uh, bread and other stuff that humans feed them. CJ moving to Queens from Brooklyn. Oh, very nice. Switching boroughs, I see. Yeah, definitely a lot less windy over here. Uh, ZZ, it depends which part of Queens because each of the boroughs have their poor, normal, and rich areas. Uh, 
I got a $49.99 super chat from Maya. Thank you for these videos. You haven't been back home in over a year and you miss it. Maya, thank you so much. You're so generous. Thank you. I can get some more groceries with that money later on. I only spent about 12 bucks on groceries and I'm glad I didn't get more because it's just a struggle carrying this back. By the way, you got the park porta potties here because the main restrooms by the track and the field are closed. Yeah, BSM, I started this live stream at the Lidl. All right, let me try to fix this again. Is this gonna hold? I hope so. Watch, it's gonna, uh, Right shoulder works better. I just tucked it underneath the backpack strap. Maybe it'll work a little better like this. POVHFR is saying it does that with yours too. Let's go to the uh, swimming pool overlook area and see what's going on there. I know the city renovated the swimming pool area, but I don't know how the progress is right now. ZBE saying remove the arm from the backpack, put the Lidl, Lidl bag on the shoulder, put the back arm through the backpack strap. I could do that too. This seems to be holding right now though. Right, Astoria Pool. Well, this side is coming along. This used to be a children's sprinkler area. And over here is the Olympic size swimming pool. And over there is the former diving platform, which is now a, uh, a recreation area. I want to know how Astoria Park's going to look once this is all done. Lee Barber with a two pound super chat. Pan the member from the start. You're still loving your videos. Thank you, my man. Appreciate it. I remember when I was a child, I went to this pool and someone stole my swimming shoes. They actually broke into the locker and stole them. 
No, wait a second. It wasn't the swimming shoes. It was my regular shoes. As a result, I had to be carried home and I couldn't walk home. <laughs> I still don't know who stole my shoes though, but I'd like to know. asking if they left them in the tree. I don't know. Sebastian G with 2 euro 29. Thank you for the great videos. Enjoy them very much. Thank you, Sebastian. Appreciate it. Lam saying the swimming pool lockers are too easy to steal from. You were robbed too. And plus the locks for those lockers are really flimsy too. Also interesting that since that uh, tropical storm, the city did not replace these trees. They just left them here. We have three stumps. Four stumps, really. It's been a good, uh, I would say like at least seven, eight months that those trees have been falling over like that. two dogs playing over there. Small dogs. They're really quick too. <laughs> Hello. Hey. Yeah, I see. <laughs> They're so cute. Thank you. Woof woof. <laughs> They're so friendly. Uh oh, troublemaker. One of them got yelled at. Cornelius saying the scruffy one is a cute historian. A uh, cute, uh, it's cute. And uh, Joseph Nass saying I'm a true historian, thanks. 
I like the scruffy one too. They sound like hyenas, don't they? Not nah, on. You know which one was very funny? The one I did, uh, the one I met yesterday in front of the restaurant that was tied up. That one had a really deep voice and it was a tiny dog. Thank you, Rebecca Curio. 10 bucks in honor of my lost shoes. Thank you. It's busy, windy under here. And busy. Nick, you found yourself whistling my pink straw at the start of the stream. Does that mean you're a real fan? It could be. Astoria Park track and field as well as the cherry blossom section over here is where you're gonna have the highest concentration of flowers but even over here there's not really too many uh, Nick asking what the song is I'm not sure it's been a while since I uh, use that as an intro and I forgot what song I used for it. They actually smell really fragrant now. And this tree isn't completely bloomed yet. There's still more that are gonna come out. I found maybe I could sneak up on it. What are you eating there? spotted hey squirrels not stupid it's a big hole you're digging there what's in there Whoa! Did you see that? Where did that nut come from? What a cheeky squirrel. Are you going to get another nut from me?
gonna try to get a picture of this. It'll be nice to get for like Instagram. Squirrel in a cherry blossom tree. I was able to get a few, but not many. Oh, this one turned out blurry. Well, maybe not. It's not too bad. Let me see. Yeah, not bad at all. How's that for a picture? Not the angle I wanted, but at least it was something. See if I can get the squirrel up the tree again. Hey, go in the tree. Oh, I guess not. Ali says, do I remember the one who climbed on your knee? I do, I remember that one. I remember seeing a squirrel in Mexico City and that was pretty cool. And then I fed a squirrel in Taiwan that one was a black squirrel with uh, flat ears and they do short hops as well. Yogi Bear fan, when you go into the park, sometimes they give them seeds. Yep. I like sunflower seeds. Seeds are a good food to give squirrels. I don't have any food for the squirrels right now. I have uh, bananas and <laughs> two pieces of steak. I don't think squirrels eat bananas. I never tried at least. Yo, he's sad that the cherry blossoms don't last long. Yeah, it's sad. We're only gonna be here for a few more days. <laughs> oh gosh, allergy season. All right, what kind of books do we got? Tasty, friction. Ooh, Best American Travel Writing 2001. Maybe that's relevant if you're back in 2001, but it's 20 years later now. Back then, the worlds were normal. The World Trade Center didn't even fall yet. <laughs> Unless it's uh, past September. What about New York Science? Glenn Coe Science. That, that actually looks like the same textbook I used back in high school.
Well, how about a new history of early Christianity? Ooh. Oh, this didn't show up, but let's open this. Handbook of Practical Philosophy and Typographic Design Form and Communication. There's a cookbook here too? Where? I didn't see it. Let's open up the Handbook of Practical Philosophy and see what's in it. 120 Tips for a Better Life. Alright. Let's read the first tip. Well, we can skip the preamble. Chapter one. Oh. Rely on your strength and logic. Your actions should be the result of proper thinking that emanates from your mind. You should face reality as it is and act according to what needs to be done, not on what you would want to do. Do not rely on luck. Luck has many faces and something you cannot control. Apply your theories according to your own strengths and abilities. Be a wrestler, not a swordsman, because if the swordsman loses his sword, he will be killed while the wrestler needs nothing more than to make a fist. Pretty deep philosophy there. Basically say don't rely on luck and external forces. Wow. I think I'm going to take this book. Yeah, I'll put this in the... Uh, a good book put this in the grocery bag and I'll give a book back why not so now I'm gonna be a master of practical philosophy Ali BG saying Tao Che Ching connection. Possibly. Joseph Nash saying, just as I said, action kid is practical philosophy. I think a lot of my actions are. Sometimes they're not too practical though. Like when I walk into danger, <laughs> unexpectedly then that's probably not too practical Rose Easy is saying I have evolved expanded into a book club and animal watching Yogi Bear fan saying allergy season stinks yeah it does it's annoying, but gladly my symptoms aren't really that bad. Wow, I didn't know that tree over there fell. There's still a stump over there too. go visit that stump.
It's a huge stump. There's a lot of rings in this tree. I don't know if I'll be able to tell the age of it, counting all the rings. Got a pine tree over here. Two pigeons. Let's see if anyone's by the dog run at the corner here. BSM's the park staff has removed all the fallen trees. Yeah, but the stumps are still here. I guess they're just gonna leave the stumps. We've got the Astoria Park directory, the map. S feels saying it's not easy to remove the stumps. No, it's not. Very hard to. You gotta have to like cut it up. I think I'm just gonna go down to the dog run here and then uh, end the live stream after a while. Just because it's getting more windy now and I wanna carry these groceries home without much struggle. This is Bugsy's dog run. What kind of dogs do we have here? Is that a German Shepherd? Hi. Wow, such a big dog with a plush toy. Whoa. That sounded a little bit rough. Listen, careful the dog smell my steak. Yeah. Even in the packaging. Squeaky, squeaky. <laughs> Alright, I guess I'm gonna end this live stream here. Anyway, if you enjoyed this live stream walking from the Lidl grocery store, sure to smash the like button. I don't need to carry this on my shoulder anymore, I could use my hands. Uh, smash the like button, subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you next time. Bye. Say bye bye. Wow, it's getting windy.